Hey guys, Real 111T, and I'm coming at you with a video, uh, a comparison video between the Gonzo 7531 and, or 753 and the 753M1. Uh, okay, both in orange. Now this uh, bottom knife here uh, is one that I've been kind of everyday carrying um, for a few weeks now. I ordered the black version as well as the orange version and just whatever suits my fancy um, for the price. Um, the, the larger one there I paid about, uh, if I had to remember, I think it was about 12 or $13 for the bigger one. Um, but the prices on these, pretty reliably you can find them either on Amazon or on Gearbest for less than $20. I've seen them up to $17. And at $17 they're still totally worth it. Um, and as you see, the uh, the larger one there has a Gonzo mark on the blade, and uh, the um, the uh, M designated one, the uh, seven five three M, has the Firebird logo on that side. I'm pretty sure that this one has. You know, we got the Firebird logo on the other side. But what's confusing a lot of times is they don't show these right next to each other. They're very similar um, designs. Uh, based on a ProTech, uh, not an exact copy, um, uh, and definitely, you know, for less than $20, both of these are well under $20. The smaller one there was less than $15, if I recall correctly. Um, but I've been uh, every day carrying the larger one there. That's the one that, oop, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry I don't have my tripod today. Um, I've been every day carrying this one. This is the one that really kind of fits my hand. It's about the size you would imagine of a regular, um, like a hunting knife, about the same class, you know, as, you know, a buck 110 kind of size. Um, you can see there, I thought it was appropriate to use the sight in target with the orange handles. Um, so yeah, so the, um, the smaller one there um, is basically a very similar shape, but when you're uh, sitting there on gear best or whatever, scrolling through all the knives, it's easy to mix them up because it, they don't show them next to each other, okay? And they're very similar. Uh, one thing uh, that I would point out is the larger one, if I can get this to focus, has this uh, real fancy, this is something you can look for and make sure you get the right one, has a fancier kind of a pivot screw, and whereas the smaller one has a, a planer one. It doesn't have those sort of cutouts on it. Um, they both have this sort of, um, come on, focus. They both have the, the blue accents on the screws and stuff like that. Both very, very sharp out of the box. Um, but uh, I, I don't think I would I would carry the smaller one, honestly. I, I think that's going to be one that I'm going to... I picked up a few of them, and I'm going to keep them for my kids and in case I have any scouts that need a gift or something like that. Uh, they both utilize the, the Gonzo version of the Axis lock, um, and they're pretty solid lockup. So, yeah, just a real quick video. This video is just basically to show the scale. I'll see if I can get it so that the grid is... Uh, I don't know if I can... But this is pretty much a perpendicular view. So you can see that the, the one... Uh, see the size difference? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A little over eight inches for the big one. And then um, about or just about seven inches for the littler one. And they're just sort of a scaled version. You know, it's scaled up or scaled down. So it's real hard when you're looking on the websites and you're just seeing one of them to tell the difference, basically. Um, and then, you know, I've, I've seen people who are like, oh, this knife is smaller than I expected because they ordered the M model. Typically, what I see with the Gonzo knives is that M denotes, uh, I think it stands for medium-sized. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, I think, what that means. I don't know 100% for sure. But that'll be the smaller size version of whatever pattern you're looking at. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you're curious about these Gonzo knives, check them out. Like I said, you can find them on Amazon. Um, the prices fluctuate up and down. Like I said, this larger one I got for very cheap, very inexpensive, about $12 or $13. Now it's up around the $17 range. Uh, Gearbest has good deals on them, but you have to wait. Um, but like I said, uh, Amazon, if you can get them, uh, find it on Prime for Amazon, so much the better. So, all right, thanks for watching.